Okay, this video is about how to put equations and pictures into your posts. Uh, let's create thread. And you can even do this when you submit your homeworks too. So let's put this as test. For equations, you can click this FX, the launch math editor. And using this, you can put square roots. Uh, and then uh, you can also put fractions and all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can even put matrices and uh, see if it works, okay? Um, there's still another way to put equations in, and that's called Wireless Editor. And this is something that's actually implemented in Blackboard, so you don't have to install it. Uh, anything that you put inside double dollar signs in here, that's going to be rendered as math. So if you say y equals to x squared inside the double dollar signs, and then submit. Uh, let's see, test. Oh, okay. Well, sometimes the y rivalry editor doesn't work properly because of some bug in, in the Blackboard. Uh, to fix that issue, you have to click HTML. So there's this button, HTML and CSS. You can click that and uh, uh, starting from P and then slash P, just delete everything. The problem is caused by all these spans. So uh, you have two choices. Either you can just delete all the spans or just to totally delete everything and, and type again, okay? Uh, so you just put, between P, P and slash P, you just put dollar dollar y equal to x squared like this, and dollar dollar, and then update, and then when you submit, that's going to turn into an equation, just like this, okay? Now, you can, you can put in things like square roots. Uh, this cur these curly brackets are not rendered. Uh, these are here just to tell the computer how long the square roots should be. So the square roots will be over 2x minus 1, but if I put something like 9 here, uh, this will be outside the square root. If you want to put fractions, you should put fraction of uh, x plus 3, and then you, it, this one needs two curly brackets, one for a numerator, the another another one for the denominator. Okay, so if you do this, then uh, it's going to render, but you know, since uh, the, the spans are very annoying, let's just click the HTML and just put it here, okay, and update, and then if we submit, it's going to give you just like this. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, let me just fix this. Uh, if you edit, the problem I had was uh, if I do x caret 1, 2, only the 1 is raised. I If I want to tell the computer that the entire 12 has to be raised, I should put curly bracket over 12, and that should work. Okay, and now everything's good. Okay, so using these two, uh, you can put math easily. Uh, if you're interested in what other commands are available in Wiris, Wiris is using the standard text math. So if you go to Google and put text math, uh, it will tell you how to use latex. Uh, another resource I found what that was useful was that uh, text displays math in wiki so in, in Wikipedia they use the late text so uh, if you go to Wikipedia help displaying f formula there's this page where it talks about various text commands and uh, tells you how to do the square root uh, Greek letters and all that okay so that should be helpful now let me talk about how to put pictures 
into your post. So here's, let's say this is a problem that I have trouble with. I want to share this with other people and ask questions about it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to uh, accessories uh, and click snipping tool. Okay. I actually made this uh, pinned to the taskbar. So if you, you can pin this to the taskbar, so it's right here. And that makes it easier to use. Now, for Mac users, you can use another method, which is Command Shift 4. You can Google uh, how to use it, and it's actually easier than Windows. Okay, uh, but whatever you use, Windows or Mac, uh, Windows or Mac, uh, you can click a portion of your screen and turn that into a PNG file. Okay, so I, I made it like this save it as a PNG file. Okay, I, I made a PNG file with this. And then if I want to put that into a post, uh, and, and actually this is the part that uh, a lot of people are doing it wrong. See, many of you are attaching it as a file. Uh, and that makes it really hard to read. Even when you're uh, submitting classwork, rather than attaching a file, please use this icon here, which is Insert Edit Image. If you click this, then you can browse your computer, and uh, here's Capture PNG, and that shows, and then you can p p p uh, click Insert, and now you have the picture inside your post. So. Uh, people don't have to download your attachments to see what you're trying to say. It's right here, and I can just add extra text saying that uh, Can you give me a hint to this problem? Where do I start? Something like this and then you submit and there it is. Okay, here's the picture and I'm doing this so this way it's a lot easier to uh, communicate the trouble that you have